Hey guys, this is Miss Harrington, and today we are going to talk about how to identify theme in a text. So we're going to use the sheet you see here in front of you to kind of go through and understand what a theme in a text is and how can we use text evidence to figure out what the theme of a passage is. So let's look at this topic and we're going to read through this together. It says theme is the central message that stretches through an entire story, drama, or poem. You can think of the theme of a story as being like the lesson or the real world application of the story. Basically, when we're looking for a theme in a passage, it is something that we, the reader, can learn from the experiences that the characters in those passages go through. It says that themes often explore timeless and universal ideas. So an example of that would be if the theme of a story were courage or responsibility, because those are themes that we can see almost anywhere. It also tells us that themes can be stated outright, meaning in the passage, it will say the lesson of the story is, or the moral of the story is, or they can be implied. Now, when a theme is implied, this is when we, the reader, have to use the text evidence to figure out what is the theme. So some common themes that you might see in reading would be, uh, be prepared, betraying a friend also hurts you, or revenge hurts the avenger. So we're going to use this short text here below. This is something that we call a fable. Now, fables are stories that will always contain a life lesson or a theme. So we're going to use this fable below, and we're going to decide, based on the text evidence, which one of these above themes goes with this story. So follow along with me. The donkey, the fox, and the lion. A donkey and a fox decided to team up to find food together. They were traveling in the forest when they crossed paths with a lion. They were both scared, but the fox hoped to save himself. He approached the lion and offered to help him get the donkey if the lion would let him escape unharmed. So I already see a problem here. Two friends who were working together and then one friend is going behind the other friend's back. The lion agreed. So the fox and the donkey walked on with the lion trailing behind them. The fox led the donkey to a hidden pit left by some long ago hunters as a trap for wild animals, and the donkey fell in. As soon as the donkey was in the pit, the lion came out of hiding and ate the fox. Then he ate the donkey. So we already know that you have two friends here at the beginning of the story, right? Looking back at the beginning, we have the donkey and the fox working together because they're trying to find food. Well, then when they cross paths with that lion, both, it says that both animals were scared. But the fox was only concerned with saving himself. It tells us right here in the text. So what does he do? He goes behind his friend, the donkey's back, and makes a deal with the lion because the fox wants to be able to escape. Now the lion says that he agrees, that he won't harm the fox if the fox helps him get the donkey. But then what ends up happening? The fox leads his friend the donkey to a pit that the donkey falls into, so the fox thinks that he's safe. But what do we find out? As soon as the donkey was in the pit, the lion jumped out and did what? Ate the fox. Now he did also eat the donkey, but the deal was to keep the fox safe and the lion did not agree to that deal completely. So based on what we know has happened here in this text, when we look up at these themes, did it have anything to do with being prepared? No, because if it had something to do with being prepared, the fox, the donkey probably wouldn't have had to go look for food together because they would have been prepared and already had food. So this is a theme that we're going to cross out because it doesn't have anything to do with the text evidence of our story. Betraying a friend also hurts you. So that word betraying, if you're not familiar with it, when you betray someone, you're doing something behind their back, basically. You're going against your friendship and you're doing something that most likely would hurt your friend. But it says betraying a friend also hurts you. Well, this is a possibility for our theme because we know that the fox went behind the donkey's back to try to save himself, but that didn't work because what happened to the fox? he still ended up being eaten by the lion. But let's always look at our last answer choice just to make sure. So the last one says, revenge hurts the avenger. Well, revenge is when you're trying to get back at somebody, right? Well, we know that nothing in this story shows us 
an example of a character trying to get back at another character. So based on what we know and based on the text evidence, our best theme would be that betraying a friend also hurts you. So again, when we're looking for a theme, we want to identify the life lesson that we, the reader, can take away from the story based on what happened to the characters in the story. And we do that by observing the text evidence, looking at what the characters do and looking at what the characters say. So until next time, guys.